As we are back here on the uh, show floor at the PGA Merchandise Show in Orlando, Florida. Uh, what do they call this? The uh, fifth major or something? Uh, golf's fifth major. Uh, specifically, we're in the Orange County Convention Center. You forgot that little specific. I, I did, and this is a big place, let me tell you. I think they call it 10 miles of, of aisles or something like that in here. And the show, you know, after COVID, it kind of suffered a little bit. There wasn't quite as many people here, but... It's pretty much back. It's not quite full as it was before, but there's over 800 uh, vendors here. There's probably seven or 800 media people here covering this event. And uh, by the way, we're talking with Mike May, our good friend from Indiana Golf Journal. And Mike, what's one of the coolest things you've seen at the show so far? I, it's difficult to answer that question. The diversity is just overwhelming. It's everything from drivers to irons to putters to balls to tees to head covers i like the the very creative uh use of head covers i uh all the animals and team names whatever you can put on a head cover they they'll customize it uh i've seen historical photos we anything and everything in golf is literally here and it's here in many different versions. Socks. I've never seen so much apparel. Uh, how an apparel buyer makes all the decision. brand names, and then some. And There's hundreds of them. I don't know how you make a decision. It's they're all good. Yeah. One of the things I really like. I don't know if you noticed it, but uh, there's a leather. Uh, deal and they have leather head covers and you know leather carry golf bags and yeah, all kind. I, I want one of those so bad. I'm gonna I, I'm gonna have to see them try to make a deal on them because I want one of those. Uh, another device that I thought was kind of neat was a uh, sort of a pelican-like case for you to carry your wine and your wine glasses and all the accessories because golfers do like wine. So they they've even come up ways for you to conveniently take your accessories with you. Uh, ship sticks is here. Every brand you imagine. It's it's quite dizzying to be honest. Yeah. One of the things too is uh, I, I didn't hear I've never heard of this company before. It's called Sconey S K O N I. But they make golf shoes. But they're hey dudes. They're like hey dudes. If you like comfortable shoes, they're hey dudes for golf courses. Okay, so they're kind of cool. And the other thing is uh, there's a uh, robot range picker upper. Okay, so some teenage kid's going to lose his job now because they're going to have a robot to pick up the range balls. But uh, I thought that was pretty cool, too. Uh, necessity is the mother of invention here. Uh, people, I don't think the golf, there's, in, there's no industry in the world that's more creative and, and uh, innovative than golf. They create solutions to problems we didn't know we had. <laughs> Exactly. And as golfers, I mean, we love all this stuff, right? I mean, you walk up and down the aisles here, and, and uh, of course, we see old friends, and, and that's always good. But to see the new products and, and to see what's going to be in golf shops this year, uh, it's just it's always an amazing thing. And I'm glad it's back to more of a full-capacity type situation this year. It's, it's back to what we think the show should be. Uh, we also have a return of the athletes. We saw Tom Watson hit the titles booth. I saw Annika Sorenstam just down the way at a sunglass booth. Uh, Stacy Lewis is here. Justin Leonard's here. Lexi Thompson is here. Uh, so the, the, the show is returning to what it once was. The vibe is back. Uh, I don't think the, the footprint is as big, but there's no one who should be here who's not here. Every name brand you would imagine is here, plus many others that are mom and pop brands trying to find their niche in golf. So it's encouraging. Yeah, keep watching uh, uh, fans here at Back Nine Report TV because we, we were going to have uh, videos adding in all the time of different products and people that we've talked to, uh, things that you might want to learn about. So, uh, again, PGA Show in Orlando. Mike May, thanks a lot for joining us. It's a pleasure. Um, I'm, I put a few things out on Twitter. Uh, uh, Mike May underscore golf. Uh, did a little thing on the Bridgestone golf balls, and they retweeted it to their 118,000 followers. So we're trying to, through social media, bring you some highlights of the show, and it's uh, it's still got more videos to shoot. We have a day and a half to go, so the, the best is yet to come. Thanks a lot, Mike.